Hello, hello. Welcome back. Um, today, um, I'm going to be talking about a, a previous video that I did of the Tory Burch Rose Gold Miller Sandals. And I remember doing another video, I think it was for my July favorites, uh, where I had mentioned that I was having a bit of a problem with my sandals. Um, losing their color and uh, I asked you all to pray for me there wasn't there wasn't anything that could save them so let me explain to you what happened okay because I'm upset I'm upset about what I'm going to talk about Basically, I had purchased the rose gold Miller sandals that had come out this summer, brand new color. Super excited. I was over the moon. I've never ordered something so fast in my life. And so after like using them for like two months, I started to notice that the color of the sandals started to rub off. And um, let me show you because I have them with me so that you can see I had to do this video before I return them because that's exactly what's gonna happen um, so as you can see the sandal is starting to lose its color this is my third pair just just to let you all know this is my third pair okay and I've only had these for a month so you can imagine that in two months, you will start to see all of my toes, it's already starting to lose their color. And then when you move down the sandal, you can also see that where my foot lays, it's also losing its color. You see? That area, this area. And even right here in the middle where the where the sandal wrinkles okay I'm really upset about this because this is a third pair so obviously it wasn't that I got a bad pair it just I guess the spray or the color they use to color the sandal is bad it doesn't work and I I really tried to rationalize this in my brain, okay? I have two other pair of Tory Burch Miller sandal. They're the regular leather, not the patent leather, in black and in the rich um, cam cameo or camel. I don't know. It's like a rich brown uh, color. I've had those for I had one I've had the first pair which were the brown ones I've had for two years and two years and a half and the black ones I've had for a year use them all the time nothing's wrong with them these however not the case and so as pretty as they are I just feel like two hundred dollars for a pair of sandals that color shouldn't be going anywhere anywhere and I couldn't keep them I just couldn't I couldn't rationalize spending $200 on a pair of sandals that were gonna become messed up because that's a thing like oh you put your foot over I even thought oh I put my foot over and no one's gonna see it not true the color continues to fade out it's mm, it's really upsetting another thing I wanted to show you about the shoe that I noticed with the first pair um, and the second pair was the sandal does not have a golden button right here like the other ones do. It has this faux stitching. What I mean by faux is it's not actually stitched all the way through. As you can see, the bottom of the sandal, let me see if it'll focus. There. You see how the stitch doesn't come through? All they did was glue this together. That's that's the only thing that happened here, okay? So what happens, you're walking around and it will legit start to lift. It'll start lifting here. And if it's got nothing to hold, it's gonna snap. And I'm sorry, but that's really 
poor quality. You are charging the same amount of money for this sandal than you do the other Miller sandals. So do it right. You know, I mean, if you're gonna put a stitch there, it shouldn't be a full stitch. It should be the full stitch. It should go all the way through to ensure that, that, that this shoe is gonna stay in place. And the same thing goes for the sides. So the sides don't have the golden button either. It's the same glue action, you know? But the side of the sandal, I'm sorry. The side of the sandal, I didn't really have any issues um, with at all. But yeah, I'm really upset about it because I really like these shoes. It's not like she comes out with a new pair of rose gold ones every year. And the last time she took out a pair of rose gold ones, was like in 2014 so god knows how long we'll be waiting for a new pair but even then now like if it's metallic i'm gonna be weary about purchasing them because i don't want the same thing to happen now i do want to tell you something i purchased these sandals from toribirch.com their website i did not purchase it from any other retailer nordstrom bloomingdale's neiman marcus none of those places and thank God that I did. They have been great. Toribirch.com and their customer service team has been amazing. And they're very honest. They're like, that should not be happening with the shoe. I even asked, like, has anybody else um, complained about this? And they were just like, no, um, nobody else has complained about it. Uh, maybe it's like the weather and the climate you live in. And so, I, I sort of went on a hunt. I'm like, I, I seriously, I even read the reviews like on their website for this sandal and nobody was saying that the color was fading. And I went on a hunt and I went on hashtags and I started asking people who had bought this pair of shoes. Um, and finally one girl like messaged me back and she's like, well, I have more than one metallic um, Tory Burch, and that tends to happen to them. But not after a month or two of use. Like, that tends to happen to them after having them for at least a year. And I'm like, okay. So, even even if, thank God, I, they did it happen to me now and not a year later. Because I would have been pissed. I would have been angry. Because still, it's $200 for a flip-flop. If we're gonna be completely honest with you but why have i bought this is not my third pair because the other two are like they're in they're indestructible guys they're indestructible and i am not the most ladylike i am not like super gentle i don't glide on the ground i'm really rough some i scuff my feet i like trip over things sometimes i catch myself but you know i do like one of those those trip skips where you try to play it off yeah that's me and nothing's happened to them nothing has happened to them they're in perfect condition one of them actually fell like i literally stepped in a puddle of water dried like nothing like nothing it was like magic like magic and these no i'm i'm just so they sent me a second pair when i told them the issue of the first pair then they sent me a third pair when i had an issue with the second pair and I was like that's it like three times three times a charm because if it happens with the third one it's just i mean there's it's not a defect it's not it's not my climate anymore i feel like this is a defect with the shoe like this shouldn't be happening like the whatever they use to spray the shoe or to paint the shoe they should have really you know made sure that it was going to be really good quality for the price that you're paying for the shoe now because it has been more than i think like six months or something like that since i originally purchased the shoe they can't give me my money back so what they do is they give me a credit for the tory bird store for me to spend however i please on whatever i want and i'm okay with that because i truly do love all of her shoes and what i'm gonna get in place of these is gonna be the tory birch is the closest thing i could find um to this color was the tory birch a miller sandal and light makeup which is the really light nude um 
not patent leather because they also come in like patent leather but just like the regular the regular i'm trying to look it up here in my pictures just the regular um miller sandal in light makeup because it's like i said it's the closest color that i could find to these rose gold ones and it makes me so sad it makes me so sad i was so excited you guys if you saw my video when i told you guys to go purchase this like i hope none of you live in florida because now i'll feel really bad if i told you to go buy these shoes because i was so excited and of course what was i gonna know because i have two other pair of tory birch sandals that are awesome so but yeah anyway basically um let's just hope they're not sold out because that would be my look uh, but yeah, they're, I'm going to return them. They, I was never charged for shipping every time I have to return these shoes. And even these that are going to be returned tomorrow, they send me a you, um, a prepaid le uh, label. And I'm just going to return them once my account is credited. Then at that time, then I can buy the other shoes. So this is, I'm going to just show this to you. It's called, the color is light makeup. And it was the closest I could find. Oh my gosh, is it gonna show you? It's the closest nude um, sandal that I could find to the rose gold. Um, so that's 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 where I'm at. That's where I'm at right now. Mhm. Mm anyway. I'm sorry that this video is a Debbie Downer, but I needed to seriously give you guys an update as to what happened to my shoes. Because I was this upset about it. Yo sería tan mongolica to put them in the box again and return them. And then not even be able to do this video because I can't even explain to you exactly what happened to the shoe because you have to see it. You have to see it. And so, yeah, pretty much. That's my update on my uh, Tory Burch sandals. I'll let you guys know once I get the light makeup ones and let you know how that turns out. But those are the same material as my black and my brown ones so i've got high hopes i've got high hopes guys wish me luck till next time bye